talking about the Dagbamba. Now, who are called the Dagbamba? Don't make a mistake. They are different from the Dagombes we have today. Who are known as the Dagbamba, as you can see in this beautiful photograph. In fact, they are signified by the playing of the talking drums, which they call Lunga. Gong, 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 gong. 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 Gong, That is how their Lunga sounds, my brother, my sister. in the 11th century, something very interesting happened. Today we're talking about the Dagbamba and it's going to take only five minutes. Sir. Now the homeland of the Dagombes is called Dagbon and covers about 20,000 kilometers in area. Now the Dagombes are the second largest ethnic group of the 54 ethnic groups or tribes in Ghana. Did you hear that? I said the Dagombes or the Dagbamba, my brother, my sister, are the second largest tribe or ethnic group of all the 54 tribes or ethnic groups in Ghana, the whole of Ghana. This is the second biggest. They are called the Dagbamba. Oh my God. Now, hear me now. Now, now who are the Dagbamba people? Now, the Dagbamba people are here and who are they now when you come to ghana 54 ethnic groups that we have in the country the dagbamba are the second in terms of size now the bang includes the mapusi the nanumba the gonja the moshi the grunsi in particular, the Frafra and the Kusasi people, the Wala, the Ligbi, and the Konkomba, they are all known as the Bamba. Did you hear that? Should I go into detail? I said, when we talk about the Bamba, remember they are different from the Dagombes we have today. Now, the Dagombes are just one side of the great Dagbamba. The original name for these people as created by the great Gwewa, who some people call Bangwa. Bangwa or Gwewa is the same thing. My brother, my sister, he had five sons. He had Zirli. He had Kofao. He had the great Shitobo. He had the wonderful Tohagu and Mantambu. My God have mercy. History is very sweet, isn't it? Listen. I said, Yabo. Yabo. Now the founder of the Dagbang or the Dagbamba Empire, my brother, my sister, was called Bewa. And he had five sons. He had, in no special order, Zirli, Kofau, Tohagu, Mantambu, and Shitobu, five of them. Zirli and his brother Kofau fought, and he killed him with a hot pito pot. That was the day Bewa decided to open up the ground and go into it and never came out again. Out of anger that two brothers fought and one killed the other. Tohagu decided to go all the way to Gambaga moving the whole kingdom to Gambaga. And they founded the Mamprusi, Mampurgu, which simply means the one who divides. Mamprga, Mamprli, Mamprugu. They are all associated and related. So we will simply call them the Mamprusi. It means the one who divides the land so the whole bewa kingdom moved all the way from pusiga and came all the way to gambaga led by one of his sons by name to Abu. in fact it was over there two of his brothers decided that no they also needed to move out but the original kingdom moved all the way from pusiga 
and came all the way down to Gambaga. Interesting story. So, Tuhagu became the king of the Dagbamba. All these ethnic groups I mentioned, they are all under the great Dagbamba. Listen to the interesting thing. Tuhagu became the king and the leader, and he founded the oldest empire from the loins of Bewa in the history of this country. So the oldest empire, my brother, my sister, the oldest kingdom is this kingdom I'm talking about, the Dagbamba kingdom. The Kusasis, the Mampuses, the Frafres, the Grusis, all of them are part of this. The Talinses, the Nabdam, all of them are part of it. The Wala, the Vagla, all these people. They are the second biggest ethnic group out of the 54 that we have in Ghana. Hallelujah. I'm ending this. Listen to the interesting part of it. Now, Tuhagu stayed in Gambaga. His brother, Shitobu, moved all the way to the forest of Yendi. And because of that, his brothers called his followers, or people who went with him, Yonama. That means people of the forest. Yom is like forest, jungle, jungle people, forest people. But the name changed into Dagomba, just like Dagbamba. And their king decided to take the lion as the symbol or the totem of that kingdom because they lived in the forest. Yonama, Yonama, Yonama. So the original name of the Dagombes, as they stand today, is actually Yonama. So a lot of Mampus is still called the Dagombes Yonama. In other words, people of the forest. It's not an insult. It just means people who inhabited the forest. But with time, they became so powerful. Hunting, they were so skillful. They could subdue the lion. And they got the totem, the lion, originally picked from Bewa himself. They became so powerful. And they spread all over. They even became more numerous than the original Mampuses and even the Nanumbes, who I'm going to talk to you about in a jiffy. Now, the third brother, Mantambu, went all the way to found the Nanum kingdom. So, three brothers came all the way down to Gambaga, and from Gambaga, they also separated. My brother, my sister, this is the story of the Dagbamba very powerful and very strong now in our next discussion we're going to pick every ethnic group one after the other and go into the history but for today we just decided to look at the dagbamba dagbamba so people ask me what language did Bewa speak did he speak mampruli did he speak nanum or did he speak Dagomba or Dagbam Dagbamni. My brother, my sister. He was in a kingdom known as Dagbang. And the people of the kingdom were known as Dagbamba. It is a name that has trickled down to today's Dagomba. A lot of indigenous Mampusi people still call Dagombes Yonama. Mamprege means break and share. So the king of Mamprusi found, saw himself as the man who would apportion the land to his brothers and some other people in the kingdom. Mamprege, break and share amongst the people. Today, my brother, my sister, I am happy to be telling you the history of the great Dagbamba as founded by the great Bewa, who himself came all the way from the loins of Kogonumbo. Repeat after me, Kogonumbo. That was the name of his father, Kogonumbo. <laughs> Kogonumbo. And Kogonumbo himself, his father was called Tuhaje the Red Hunter. What a thing. This 
has been the African historical. 